Hey guys, and welcome to Emily's Coloring Corner. Okay, so like, subscribe, and comment if you feel like it. Today I'm just going to do a little flip of my Gypsy Dancer by Deborah Muller. Um, the art, the uh, cover is colored by Tiffany Krizwicki, um, and I think it's beautiful, so good job to her. So we're just going to flip and go through it. Um, there's one page I started, but it's literally like nothing, so it's just like some yellow on there so I hope you can see okay let me move this back a little bit here we go sorry if you just saw my drink okay how's that for everyone okay all right so uh, stuff is in the way so this is the nameplate page and that looks good to me that's the nameplate page and then it starts after that so it has a lot of beautiful images in it. I'm sorry if I'm going too fast or too slow, but I'll try to take my time. Um, I actually had this book for a while. My friend got it for me for my birthday, I think two years ago. Um, and I just have never opened it and it's been on my porch. So I thought I could, you know, color in it soon. Like this would be an easy page to do. Um, it's not all people, which I enjoy doing people, like coloring people. But it definitely has some really beautiful images of the people in here. And then there's some with words. And then there's some with, um, like, this is not all who wander or lost. has, like, arrows and stuff. So that has a bunch of, like, not a variety, but pretty good amount of different kinds of pages and people. And I don't know, I would use, I think I'm going to use alcohol markers in this, but I feel like you could use like colored pencils, you could probably use gel pens, you could use a lot of stuff in here. So, I prefer, um, like I, these pages are okay, like I'm going to do them, but I definitely prefer like the people pages. Um, I really enjoy Deborah Muller's style, as I've said before. I enjoy her style of how she draws people with the really big eyes. Life is all about the magic and don't let anyone tell you different, honey. <laughs> ah, that one's really pretty. It says magic spells and she's with a candle. I like that a lot. I might work in this book tonight. I'm not really sure, but we'll see. I really want to, like, have, like, um... I have alcohol markers that have skin tones in them, but I do want to, like, this would be a good book to practice skin tones, like, on different areas of the body rather than just the face. Like, it shows her stomach and her chest area, so I could practice um, my coloring with that. Hope you guys can see okay. And definitely hair as well. I want to practice with hair, so this would be a good book to do that. Your vibe attracts your tribe. Amen. Amen, sis. That's cute. Look, she's playing the mandolin, I believe that is. And she has an evil eye necklace. So it's pretty. But I think it'd be really nice to do different kinds of hair. And um, even if I do straight color in this book. I mean, it's a pretty thick book. Like, we still got a lot of pages. Um, even if I straight color, I think I could get this book done. This is the one I started on. I literally told you I did one little area of the yellow and that's about it so so I hope you guys are doing good it's negative two to it feels like negative two degrees outside is what the mother says um so it's very cold out negative two degrees and there's snow on the ground meaning it's colder um so that would be good to also practice like the fur and like shading with the fur, but I don't really color animals and usually I just use like a bunch of different colors. If I do color animals, it's like purple and green wolf or purple and green turtle, you know, it's not like regular, you know, so I don't like to color, um, like if it's like a forest and stuff and it's like my romantic country book, I would, um, the romantic country book I would probably do like an actual landscape based off of that but in reality I really like um 
like different colors like a lot of different colors and like doing like the trees i'm making purple and stuff like that there's some mermaid gypsies in here too which is pretty cool then we go back to regular gypsies oh i was like where why is there a hand over her shoulder but i just realized i think she's going like this with her hand i don't know i have no idea that's so weird. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Some more mermaids. An angel gypsy. Sleeping gypsy. Oh, I like this one. It's up close. That would be really cool to do something cool with the eyes and make them look really, really cool. And the beads would be good with um, gel pens, like sparkly gel pens or something like that. Here's another mermaid gypsy with a dolphin. Here's one with a snake. Here's another mermaid one. And here's the uh, front cover. And that's it. And then you get a little thing that gives her all rights reserved, chubbymermaidart.com. That's her site. And uh, made in the USA. And then here's her site again and a little preview of the books that she has. Or, or the pages in this book that she has in here. So I hope you enjoyed today's flip through and I'll see you soon.